What is going on, ladies and gentlefish? This is the Croc to bring you a Pokemon Stadium Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be against Sucker for Jessica. Uh, he's been wanting to do a Gen 1 battle with me for a while. And we're going to do it. So, let's take a look at each other's teams. Let's get this team analysis going on. Uh, I've got Gumshoe, which is a, obviously Toby Bro. Von Karma being a mixed guard of my own stature. Uh, April being some kind of acid armor surf blizzard setup. Miss Basil being Bolt Beam counter soft boiled. Yanni Yogi being mixed with Bolt Beam and Earthquake. And Darian, again, my own special recipe. Looking at his team, the biggest threat that I see obviously is Tauros because Tauros is an absolute god of first gen. Um, Snorlax is kind of scary too. Uh, I can see the cap up. It looks to be Toby Bro. Um, as Gamma to an extent and Snorlax to an extent both handle Venusaur, the main counter that handles Toby Bro. So let's get right into this matchup waste no time. I'm going to lead Bon Karma. He's going to be leading Omega here. Now, uh, this, this is kind of a scary lead off because I'm kind of immediately thinking, okay, this guy has Psychic and High Criticals and is faster than me and it's going to make my day very bad and it, nothing is going to go my way today. But... Luckily, I actually decide to stay in, maybe? I'm kind of I'm kind of debating it at this point. Thinking, 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 still thinking. I believe I switch fearing the Psychic. Yes, I, I switch fearing the Psychic straight away. Go straight into Ms. Basil, who can take everything from Starmie. He pulls a switch right off the bat into Lax. Now I'm kind of thinking, okay, I don't know how much first gen that either one of us have played lately, but Counter Bliss or Counter Chansey is amazing. And if he does just enough and doesn't crit me, Counter will kill him. So he goes straight for the body slam, down to 400, and I follow it up with a counter, and Lax is out of the game. No more worry for Lax. Um, it was kind of a worry. Chansey took that pretty well. It's a three shot. So now he's going to bring in Gamma. Now, Gamma. Gamma is quite a bit different setup than the norm. Uh, as you're going to see, I'm going to go ahead and switch out to April. And he goes for the double team. Now, I'm kind of thinking maybe it's some kind of double team subseeder. Maybe. Uh, go straight for the Blizzard. It does a pretty good chunk. But now I see Stun Spore. And Hax is just not in Sucker for Jessica's favor right here at the beginning. Uh, the Stun Spore misses. Blizzard continuing to hit through that 90% accuracy. Stun Spore continuing to miss. And it's all in my favor right now. Ball's in my court to start this game. But you're going to see. That's not how that's going to uh, continue here. I, you know, both Xenon, Sucker for Jessica, players like that, you know, and me to an extent. Sometimes, you know, I'll get down and I'll still be able to come back. Now, here I'm going to over predict here and I'm going to go into Gengar. Now why I'm going into Gar is I guess I figured Psychic can kill it, but I don't really have anything to hit this thing out right and I don't want to explode. So I'm going to switch back into April. Now him being at plus two evasion, I'm actually kind of scared that Blizzard won't hit for that lovely 90% accuracy. I get a useless crit to go with it and we have a early 6-4 lead on Zucker for Jessica. So Zucker for Jessica is going to follow this up with Starmie. Now, being that this Starmie came into this Vaporeon, it's evidently obvious to me that this Starmie is packing Thunderbolt, and I need to get out of here. I'm, I, I kind of misplay there, but it kind of works out. I go into Gumshoe. Now, figuring that this thing is probably going to paralyze my entire team, uh, the thing to it with Tauros is yes, it can body slam and paralyze stuff, but I'm just going to follow it up with a Thunder Wave. Um, as long as he doesn't para my whole team, uh, this Tauros can stay in moderate check with a Thunder Wave. And I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to Darian. Now what I'm thinking here is, yeah, he's got Golem, so I'm going to set up Agility first just to see what he wants to do, which is Blizzard. And I kind of figured that's what he's going to want to do. But now... So now, uh, I set up an agility, and he's gonna go for a blizzard, nearly knock me down. I'm kind of, I'm kind of debating this move in my mind. He's got that golem, and I want to go ahead and surf, which I do on the switch into golem, which was perfect, perfect on my part. I was kind of surprised that I killed him. Yes, it's four times super effective, but hmm, 
Maybe Dragonite can kill him in one shot. Now, he comes as Taurus again now. My thought process here is basically I'm just going to follow it up straight away with a Hyper Beam. I was hoping for that crit that I'm not going to get, and Body Sun easily going to take Darian down. And the first score on the board, now we have a 5-3 three, a three game. But it's still not looking good. That Taurus is still a very big threat to my team, uh, basically because it could paralyze everything and crit everything. So it doesn't matter. Now, here Slowbro is going to come in. Now, I'm kind of scared of Slowbro. And the reason I'm kind of scared of Slowbro is, especially if it is a Toby Bro, seeing the Thunder Wave and the following turn seeing the Amnesia, it does confirm my suspicion of it being Toby Bro. Um, a couple points with this is to whether he's carrying the Surf of the Psychic as his stab choice. Excuse me, I just woke up a couple minutes ago. <clears throat> um, the bad thing about this is the fact that if he does go for the Psychic Stab, I can't really bring in Gengar. And <clears throat> my thought process is going to be... Instead of bringing Gengar in right there, coming in on that Amnesia, which is what I should have done, Sucker for Jessica makes an absolute perfect prediction, switching into my Gengar here to fight it and to explode on it, and I take it, and he psychics me at a plus two Slowbro, or plus four, and I still live that, and a crit. So, explosion, not going to quite do it, going to bring him down to 154, and we have a 4-3 game right now. Oh man, two paralyzed Pokemon, one fully healed Pokemon. I'm gonna bring in Nidoking now. Psychic will one-shot me, but considering my guard took it, I'm kind of expecting to take it, but Para is going to happen, and Yanni Yogi going to take Kappa down, and Kappa is gonna go down here, and that is gonna bring us to a 4-2 game right now. Now this Starmie potentially is still a huge issue it's very fast, it crits everywhere. Um, you saw earlier that it also is carrying T-Wave. So Blues are going to take me down to 135. Body Sun not going to get the para that I'm looking for. Uh, in hindsight, Earthquake probably the better option. I guess I couldn't tell at that point. But Blizzard going to take Yanni Yogi down. He's going to go down there, unfortunately. So now Miss Basil is going to come back in here. Miss Basil can take everything from Starmie, but I will be honest. Between the para and the crits, I'm very scared to face it. Just because now we've just got a massive switch between these two. The T-Bolt bringing that incoming Taurus down to 120. Now I'm looking kind of at what I can do here. Uh, my thought process is if I can get Vaporeon in on Hyper Beam, what will happen is I'll survive the Hyper Beam, I'll take the Hyper Beam, and I'll live. But he double switches immediately straight back out to uh, Omega, predicting my Slowbro switch or Vaporeon, both of which Starmie can handle to an extent, but I am going to go ahead luckily get a T-Wave off on this Starmie. I'm going to make a massive difference later and switch right back into Miss Basil as he's going to be fully paired again. Now, I can fire off a T-Bolt, but I'm, I'm going to pull a double switch into Vaporeon, and I now see that it has the Thunder Wave. Now, seeing the Thunder Wave, I'm even more scared to face this thing because it's still faster than everything on my team. It can crit all over the map. Uh, switch again in the gumshoe as death fodder. Uh, it's it's definitely death fodder at this point. It really doesn't matter to me. Gumshoe's gonna go down. And what started as a 5-3 five, 5-3 three, five, three game has become 2-2. Two, two. Now we've got Chansey and my Vaporeon versus his Tauros and Starmie. Now basically what he's going to do is pair out everything so his Tauros is faster and switch his Tauros in to obliterate my threats. He's at, it's actually a really brilliant strategy he pulls right here. So T-Bolt going to connect, not going to do too much. I don't know why I went for Ice Beam, probably a misclick. I don't have many of those in this match, thank goodness. Um, so here comes the switch into Tauros. Uh, Chansey's going to be fully paralyzed yet again. Now, this is a scary moment. Um, he predicts me so well, and, okay, no he doesn't, never mind, I, I'm, I'm on the wrong turn. Uh, Starmie going to face Miss Basil once again, and now a double switch is going to happen. I'm trying to count that Tauros, and I get him, and he, die, he is down to 22, but that Tauros is still a big, big threat. Technically, it could crit both and end the game, 
Piper Bean going to take Chansey down to 199, but I'm going... Karma is going to come back to bite me because Paralysis is that bad in first gen. And I'm paralyzed yet again, and Taurus is definitely faster here. Now, this is this is very scary, because what I've got to do here is I've got to pull a switch. And uh, I've got to switch into Vaporeon, whether I want to or not. And he follows it up with a Body Slam. And unfortunately here, I was thinking, yeah, maybe he'll go for the Hyper Beam again. There's really no point, because Body Slam would have KO'd Chansey. And back at this point when we were playing, I was like, well, if I live Hyper Beam, if he doesn't crit, Tauros will die, and I can beat Starmie with Chansey. But he pulls a switch, goes back out to his Starmie, and I'm fully paralyzed, and my Chansey's running out of HP to sponge these special attacks. Yes, I could heal, but I am paralyzed, so he's kind of counting on that in his advantage. As you will see here, the Blizzard takes me down to 101. What a dangerous level of health for uh, Chansey to be at. And I do believe here, he kind of makes the safe play. I believe he double switches back to Tauros. And unfortunately, or luckily, I do get my soft boiled off. Now, this was a great play on my part. This is the game winning play. I'm going to switch here into Vaporeon. I'm predicting the Hyper Beam, but he follows it with Body Slam instead. And looking at that range, I, Hyper Beam will easily kill me off. I was hoping for him to Hyper Beam straight away, uh, aiming to kill my Chansey. And in hindsight, Starmie probably would have wrecked Vaporeon. So, well, it definitely would have wrecked because I can't get it. But now, this thing is going to have to recharge, and T-Bolt going to finish this off. If uh, Chansey had gone down, it would have been GG. No problem, because Starmie not even fearing Va uh, Vaporeon. So now we have the classic Chansey Starmie matchup, and we're you know he goes through the motions for a while now. You know we 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 soft boil, we recover, we T bolt, we Blizzard. Uh, he's gonna go down to 57. And to be honest, I misclick uh, coming up instead of going for the T bolt. I do soft boiled, and I shouldn't just because this stall war is like ridiculous because I have tons of HP and Starmie's still faster but it has to recover pretty much every other turn as opposed to Chansey being able to take those hits pretty well um, had it come down to a non-paralyzed Chansey he could have frozen me and he could have easily won this game so uh, props to both sides Sucker for Jessica that was an amazing battle I'm not even gonna lie there's pretty much no misclicks. Um, had he had Golem as well, uh, we were talking about after the battle, he could have easily exploded on Chansey and finished the game. But luckily, in my favor, that didn't happen. So until next time, guys, thank you, Sucker for Jessica. Thank you, everybody that's been helping me and almost at 100. Thank you. Rate, comment, sub, thumbs up. Peace out. Objection. And find the computer room and later. Almost later.